everyone. Uh, welcome to another Cinema 4D tutorial from my Fiction House. Uh, on this Cinema 4D tutorial, I'm going to show you how to inflate and pop an object for your projects and uh, your animations on Cinema 4D. So I'm going to be showing you how to make this uh, kind of a cool animation and turn it more realistic using some uh, display decks and some attractors and some other things. And I hope you enjoy this tutorial and follow up. So um, jump on your new project and uh, let's go, guys. Okay, so uh, we have our Cinema 4D open and uh, we can start our tutorial. Uh, as always, I have my scene file uh, that I always use to, to start projects easily. So that um, you can do it with a, with a simple, uh, what can I say, with a simple studio. It's no problem. So um, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put a sphere in there. And I'm going to bring this sphere a little bit up. And um, uh, on this sphere, I'm going to put the segments to about 30. So um, just for us to have a, a little better detail at object. So um, once that I have that, I'm going to press C to edit the object. And I'm going to make a right click. I'm going to soft body and uh, hit a tag. So um, if I press play, you see that my object uh, falls onto the floor because uh, it has a collision on this. So I'm going to the floor. I'm going to make a right click and I'm going to put a collider body. And if I press play, you see that your, your soft body is already with that dynamic and uh, is looking cool so far. Uh, once that I have this, I'm going to, to my tag and uh, I'm going to dynamics and I'm going to set this as, a, as an initial state. So um, once that we start uh, the animation, uh, the, object, the object is going to be like this. So I'm going to press backwards and I have my object uh, already built uh, like this. So. Uh, and once that we have this, we can start our animation uh, for the um, for that inflating and uh, explosion. So um, it's going to be really cool. So I'm going to my soft body and uh, on the flexion, I'm going to put this flexion on about seven. Seven is okay. And I'm going to on the stiffness, I'm going to put this to about what ten. Ten is cool. Uh, on the collision, uh, I'm going to set my friction to about. 65. I'm going to put the bounce a little bit up on 65, on 70. 70 is okay. All right, so um, if I press play now, you see that your object already gets uh, a little bit inflated, but uh, it still doesn't have pressure. It's still um, That jiggle is not still working, so um, you have to animate it uh, by the pressure uh, of the soft body. So uh, I'm going to the pressure here. Uh, and on the start, I'm going to put my pressure to minus, about minus 25, minus 30. Let's try minus 30. And if I press play, you see that your object already gets like a squeezed. Uh, it's like a deflating thing. So um, I think it's cool for the start. So uh, uh, you you also can uh, have, uh, can I say, more, uh, can I say, uh, more definition and more, uh, and more, uh, how can I say, uh, if you put this on a hypernerve, so you see that your render is uh, is looking, uh, how can I say, uh, a lot better. So uh, uh, I'm just uh, making this without the hypernerves uh, so that we can have a, a better fluid, uh, how can I say, tutorial. So uh, I'm going to press play, I'm going to see that my object uh, is getting squeezed and uh, it's like it's looking cool. So uh, uh, when I'm going to the 20th frame, uh, on twin should be cool around here I'm going to to my tag and I'm going to the pressure and I'm going to set this pressure to about about 70 okay about 70 and I'm gonna make control and click to just to, to edit uh, this keyframe so um, I'm going to press backwards I'm going to press play again you see that your object when it gets to 20, uh, inflates. So uh, we're, we're ready to start, uh, how can I say, the, that jiggle effect. Uh, we're going to make um, a little bit, how can I say, like inflate, deflate, inflate, deflate, and then burst this thing. So uh, it's going to be very easy. So uh, I'm going to hit just a play again, just to see how this is going. It's going cool. So I'm going, and I'm get on third on 40. I'm going to bring this again to about 20. I'm going to set my keyframe here on 50. Yeah, 50 should be cool. 51. 
150. I'm going to put this to about 100. 105 should be cool. I'm going to bring this on to 60. I'm going to put this to minus 25. Just deflate a lot. And then when I'm get to 70, I'm going to inflate this again to about 100. 115. All right, I'm gonna make another cli uh, kick to uh, click to to make the keyframe. And let's just uh, see how this is going. So, inflate, inflate, and then deflate and inflate again. So um, it's looking cool. Um, you can set a, a lot more keyframes to make this wiggle a lot more. And uh, I'm going to I'm going just to to see how the animation is going. And just uh, so uh, we so that we can uh, make our burst thing. So um, when it gets to, I'm going uh, just to make one thing. You're going to your tag, you're going to your cache, and you're going to bake your cache. <coughs> Sorry. So that we can have our animation like uh, running faster, and to and just uh, and add some keyframes to to make this uh, look uh, more cooler. So I uh, got this one. Go in flight, in flight, and uh, we can burst this over here. But um, I'm going to do one thing. You have these two keyframes, uh, like the, the 60 and the 70. Uh, they're looking cool on an inflate and deflate. Uh, we can do one thing. We're going to select both, and we're going to hit Control and drag this. So uh, one time, make it another time. So um, if you Press backwards and go to your cache, uh, bake your cache again. So um, just uh, for us to to have a little bit more jiggle, and uh, uh, so this uh, can look a little bit more realistic. So let's uh, press backwards, and if you press play again, see that deflate, inflate, deflate. All right. So uh, when we get on this frame. You can also like try a lot of jiggles, but uh, I'm just doing this because dynamics uh, acts. Uh, how can I say different uh, every time? So uh, you you can have like a different effect if you if you add another keyframe or take another keyframe out. So uh, I'm just uh, wanted to catch a point where I can burst this and uh, look um, as a how can I say as a cool explosion. So uh, I'm getting on the on this frame, 81. 81 should be cool. I'm going to go to my sphere. I'm going to control C and V just to copy this object. I'm going to delete the tag. And on this sphere, I'm going to set up... Uh, no, I'm not going to set up nothing right now. So on this sphere, I'm going to select and select all. And I'm going to make a right click and uh, put my knife on. So uh, I'm going to to make the explosion on this side. So I'm going to make a few cuts over here and also a few cuts over here so that we can have a, a cool explosion running over here. So uh, I'm going just to cut, cut. You, you can make a lot of cuts. So but how more cuts you make, uh, the explosion is going to be uh, tearing the this that is going to be a cloth uh, on more segments so uh, you have to be wisely because your computer might jam a little bit on this but uh, it's okay so uh, I'm going to try to make this as um, as a normal computer to, to run this over so uh, it's no problem okay once uh, we have our cuts uh, made uh, we can uh, go to simulate cloth and uh, press alt to to make the sphere a trial of cloud norms and uh, we can start to, to make this exploding. So um, on this frame that is 81, uh, I'm going to to the simulation dex, okay, and press some cloth in it. So um, on the cloth, I'm going to the the tag. I'm going to press this auto to off, and I'm going to start my simulation of the cloth on 81. So uh, on 81. I'm going to start this. I'm going to continue the animation to 240. That should be cool. Okay, so uh, once that we have this, our simulation of the clock is going to only to start over here. And we're going to also uh, make a right click 
and uh, put uh, Cinema 4D text and make a display uh, so that we can hide this object until it's birth. So, uh, uh, and that way we have our sphere uh, running the whole simulation and when the, it gets to the burst part, uh, it gets hidden, and um, and this sphere uh, with the blow uh, is going to appear. So uh, all the the animation is going to look a lot more realistic. So uh, on the eight one, as I said, I'm going to my visibility. I'm going to put put this to 200 and set a keyframe over here. And I'm going to bring one frame backwards. I'm going to put this to zero. So I'm going to make another click, just to set the keyframe. And I'm going to grab this um, display tag. I'm going to control and drag it to this to this sphere. And on this uh, on this keyframe, I'm going to put this to 100. Okay, another click, just to set the keyframe. I'm going to put one frame over, and I'm going to set this to zero. So that way. Uh, that all animation can be hidden and uh, displayed uh, as several times. So, uh, as I see, okay, we're going to the to our simulation deck of the cloth, and we're going to to set uh, this to use tear when it gets to two eighty one. So, uh, also for this to work out good and for his, for this to have a cool explosion, uh, we're going to to simulate particles and make an attractor on this. Uh, all right, so uh, once that we have our tractor on the on the scene, we're going to bring it over a little bit up, and we're going to start to modify the the values of the tractor so it can explode this. So if you put this on a minus value on about ten minus ten thousand, and then you fall off uh, to sphere, and they're going to or your fall off, you can take this off. And you can increase, uh, can I say, the size of this attractor so it can explode uh, a lot more. So uh, I think if you make a play on this, uh, you already have uh, this working on. So let's uh, make it backwards. And if you press play, you see that the object inflate, inflate, and it falls onto the floor because um, the floor don't has, uh, can I say. Um, the collision to the to the cloth. So I'm going to the plane. I'm going to add cloth collider. So if I'm going to press backwards again, I'm going to see inflate, inflate, and it won't burst. So uh, this needs a little bit uh, more. How can I say uh, a little bit more um, uh, a minus value probably, or just uh, oh yeah. I got it. You're going to your expert and you're going to put the attractor on it. So uh, this is what uh, I was missing. So if you press play now, you, see, you should probably have an explosion over here. We're right. Okay, guys. So um, the the scene set file that I did for my for my intro was uh, kind of like this. Uh, I just wanted to show you uh, how how you can make this easily. It has uh, I can say certain parts. Uh, we can uh, we can uh, like uh, adjust a lot more, uh, make a, and uh, waste a little bit more time on this, so that uh, this can look um, a lot more realistic. So uh, if I had my how can I say if I had my my texture to it uh, and this and bring it over this sphere also, let me just hit a play on this and if just make a render. You see that uh, it's looking really cool. So uh, I just wanted to show you guys uh, how to make uh, this, um, just uh, the, the base key settings for for make this uh, animation. And I uh, hope you enjoy this. So uh, keep following Affection House and uh, keep close to our projects and um, make your things and uh, like send me a link for the videos and uh, and uh, I just want to see uh, what you've been doing on my tutorial. So. Uh, Hope to see you on a new tutorial, on a new client project, or uh, see you anywhere, guys. So uh, thanks for watching, and uh, bye, guys.